What is up everyone, Hero276 here and welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. What is up everyone, Hero276 here and welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be featuring Scyther in the Great League. Now Scyther is a bug in flying type Pokemon with the moveset of Steel Wing, which is Elite TM only, X Scissor, and Trailblaze. Now Scyther, not a Pokemon I'd recommend running in the Great League, you'll see why in a little bit. Um, however, it was super fun to use, and I had very fun running these team comps. So, I have a full set here with Scyther, Whiskash, and Sableye, and the team did very well. It went 4-1, and one, and I also have three bonus battles where I switch out the Sableye for the much spicier Excadrill. So, definitely enjoy those as well. Um, before we dive into all of that, I just want to give a special shout out to my Spotify page. If you're looking for ways to support the channel and enjoy the music used in this video and other videos, please be sure to check out my Spotify where you'll have access to all of my music. That being said, let's jump right into it. And we are starting today's video off with a positive lead Scyther into Whiskash. Now, the positive thing about this is that we are triple resisting the ground moves here, and we have the access to Trailblaze, which hits Whiskash for double super effective damage. We can survive a Scald, so I will let that go through. Unfortunately, we do get the attack drop, so that means this Trailblaze, which is non-stab, is not going to KO. But at the very least, it does raise our attack back up to zero. So from here, I'm going to shield opponent baits with the Mud Bomb, and from here, I I kinda have to throw my energy, otherwise they could have reached another charge move. X Scissor is going to KO from this health range, my opponent is going to take their shield advantage and let the Whiskash go down. They're going to send in a Bomb of Snow looking for the farm down and they get it, that's very unfortunate. Sableye is going to come in here and I really need to no shield this hoping they bait. Unfortunately they full send the energy ball, my opponent's in a great position here, I throw the foul play, but they catch. They catch onto a Bastiodon and this suddenly gives me an opportunity. If I can send in the Whiskash and get an energy head start, I should be able to outpower the Obama Snow because the Obama Snow is low enough where I should be able to hit it with the Scald and nearly KO. So if I can get an energy head start with the Whiskash, I should be in a great shape. As well, they shield it, so that's very good for me. Now I massively over farm in this matchup, getting off the Mud Bomb here. Opponent will likely let this one go through. They understand that the Obama Snow is the win condition. I go for the Scald. The opponent can survive this, but they're going to have to reach two more charge moves because I still have the shield in play. I'm going to be able to shield this. Opponent baits with the Weather Ball. I'm going to try for the farm down. Whiskash flips the script, farms down the Obama Snow, and we take the win. Next game, picking up a lead into Steelix. This is not so great, but what I'm going to look to do is look to catch a Psychic Fangs onto the Sableye, but I don't get the catch and I realize why. This is an Iron Tail Steelix, so it's got different pacing compared to Dragon Tail. You're going to see a lot of varying movesets. I don't recommend Iron Tail on Steelix whatsoever, but it's the early ranks, so a lot of people probably aren't as keen on what the proper movesets are for these Pokemon. So... I elect to shield because they shielded, they're gonna get off the breaking swipe here, they do get the coin flip attack drop which is quite unfortunate. I can survive another breaking swipe here, so I'm gonna no shield. We get another attack drop but we still are able to get the farm down. My opponent sends in Serena and I'm gonna look to send in the Scyther here. The opponent's running Razor Leaf, Serena did just get Magical Leaf from Community Day. Again, you're gonna be seeing a lot of interesting movesets from opponents in the early ranks. I get the shield with the X Scissor but that means I get to fire off my second X Scissor KOing the Serena. In the back they have Swana, and as long as I make the Trailblaze, this game should just be over. My opponent is going to be hit with the Trailblaze, and from here, it looks like they have exited the app, either due to lag or due to rage quit. I'm not really sure what it is. I send in the Whiskash, and even if they had closed out of the app, I don't think the impact would have changed, because I still get the combo play here. The Swana wouldn't have KO'd the Whiskash with one move, so I'm able to get off the Scald, and I take the win. Hopping into game number 3, picking up a tough lead into Lantern. Now we do have the surprise factor here with the Trailblaze. I switch out of the matchup into my Sableye, and my opponent has a very nice check. They send in Guzzlord. Gonna go for the return here. This would do some big damage onto the Guzzlord. The opponent lets it go through as well, and from here, I am just gonna let the Sableye go through. 
I'm gonna get a nice farm down here with either the Scyther or the Whiskash if I wanted to, but I'm gonna ultimately pick the Scyther here after waiting my switch clock. I wanna see how much damage that Trailblaze is gonna do, so I'm gonna look to get the energy head start. The opponent will be firing off their energy. The Dragon Claw, not gonna do a lot of damage. I get the Steel Wing farm down. The Lantern should be coming back in. They do send back in the Lantern, and I'm gonna go for the Trailblaze. Let's see if my opponent decides to shield this up. Trailblaze, not the strongest move in the game, does some very solid damage to the Lantern. They send in their final Final Pokemon, it is Shadow Dragonair, and unfortunately, I have lost this game. The Shadow Dragonair just has oppressive fast move damage, and I don't have any dragon resistances on the team, so unfortunately, this is just a loss. My opponent shields up the Scald, they let the Mud Bomb go through, I do get off a second Mud Bomb, so I'll be able to force the final shield, but I think Scyther is just too low, so as soon as the Whiskash gets KO'd, I'm gonna top left and quit the match. Looking to get back on the right track in the next match, picking up a lead into Kanto Muck. The Scyther actually doesn't do too well here thanks to the access to Thunder Punch, so I send in the Sableye safe switch. My opponent is going to get off a charge move, I will shield it up, they end up going for the acid spray, that is absolutely terrible, and now I'm going to go for a foul play. My opponent is actually going to shield it up, so I'm going to be able to get another shield back or do some pretty nice damage with this second foul play. I end up doing some very nice damage, opponent will likely be going Acid Spray again, I call it, they go for the Acid Spray, Sableye's defense is the lowest it could possibly be, but we get the farm down, they send in Charizard, but Charizard can't farm down either, Sableye gets off the foul play, and that's some very important damage. I now send in the Whiskash, Whiskash here can survive the blast burn so i'm gonna no shield it they end up going for the blast burn they switch out into a magical leave victory bill and because we won alignment we're able to win this game we can hard punish here with the scyther they end up going for the sludge bomb and that does a crap ton of damage but i'm gonna be able to get off this x scissor here x scissor should force the final shield here from my opponent can i get to another move yes i can grass moves double resisted here by the scyther able to get off the x scissor get the ko they send in the charizard but i have the scald ready to go this will ko the charizard and we take the win Hopping into the final game of this set, picking up a lead Scyther into Beedrill. Now, this would be a good lead for us if we had Excisor. Unfortunately, Beedrill kind of walls us here. Excisor is resisted and Trailblaze is double resisted. Gonna go for the Excisor, faking the Aerial Ace. My opponent does commit the shield, which is very good for me. Now, Beedrill does have access to Aerial Ace, which nearly picks up the knockout. I send in the Sableye. The opponent has a hard check. They send in Umbreon. Now, Umbreon here is very tanky. This Umbreon is also running Dark Pulse, that's going to be enough to two-shot the Sableye, and they do have the pacing advantage as well. I can only really do damage with return, so it's going to be looking like my opponent's going to be able to preserve alignment in the mid-game. I'm going to let this move go through, they're going to go for another Dark Pulse. Actually, it's Foul Play, so they're running the Rise to the Occasion Umbreon with double Dark Charge moves. Now, this game is going to fall on the shoulders of Whiskash. If it can 1v3 the team, I start off by getting a nice Nice catch here onto the Scyther. Scyther is going to get KO'd by the foul play. Back in comes Whiskash. I over farm and I get off the Scald. Scald here is going to be enough to KO the Umbreon. Let's see what my opponent decides to do. They send in Blaziken and it looks like Whiskash has this very comfortably in the bag. I just need to go straight Mud Bomb here. Mud Bomb is going to be enough to KO the Blaziken. They end up catching on to Beedrill, but I kind of needed this to happen anyways. Beedrill was not in much hot farm down range, but now they are. And with two shields, all I need to do is invest both of them. So the Whiskash is going to shield up the first Aerial Ace. I'm going to be able to get the Mudshot farm down and now I have the Scald that I can full send onto the Blaziken. Yes, it's overkill, but it does KO and we take the win. And that should cement the 4-in-1 set here, but don't go anywhere because we have three bonus battles for you today, so stick around and enjoy. Hopping into the first bonus battle where we have now switched out the Sableye for the Excadrill and we pick up a very interesting lead into Galarian Stunfisk, a Pokemon I haven't seen in ages. Now I'll tell you what I haven't seen at all is a Metal Claw Galarian Stunfisk. 
I send an Excadrill. Excadrill is going to be able to have the Metal Claw resistance, so it's a good response. Excadrill as well gets the shield here with the drill run and picks up the knockout with the second drill run. They send in Poipole, and my guess is this team is very weak to Excadrill. So the opponent is going to go for a charge move here. It's a Fell Stinger. I'm very glad I no-shielded that. I end up going for the drill run, but they catch onto a Polyrath. So now what I'm going to look to do is send in the Scyther and see what it can do. This is a Bubble Polyrath as well, so not as comfortable as you would like it because Counter would be double resisted, but Bubbles are actually really adding up here. I go for the X Scissor. I pick up the Knockout. The opponent will be sending back in the Poi Pole, but this is fine. I let the charge move go through. They bait with the Fell Stinger. And that just cements the win here. I'm going to go here for the X Scissor. X Scissor won't quite KO from this health range, but my opponent decides to shield it up anyways. From here, I could just send back in the Excadrill because I have another Drill Run loaded. Drill Run here will pick up the knockout. Whisk Cash gets the day off, and we take the win. Hopping into the second of three bonus battles, picking up a lead into Hitmon Top. This is a very good lead for us. Like I said earlier, counters are double resisted, so I'm very happy with this matchup. It would be made a little bit better if we were running Aerial Ace. My opponent full sends a double resisted close combat. The opponent sends in a Weepin Bell, and this is not just any Weepin Bell. It is an 800 CP Weepin Bell, as you're going to see. Very interesting there for my opponent. I'm just going to be able to steal Wing Farm down this thing. Their final Pokemon is a Slow King. I have the double Trailblaze ready to go. They no shield the first one, rightly so. And now I'm going to go for the boosted X Scissor. X Scissor grabs the final shield from my opponent. I send in Whiskash. Whiskash going to be able to outpace the Slow King to the Mud Bomb. Mud Bomb is going to KO from this health range. The opponent. Only has the Hitmon top left, but I just need to make it to a Mud Bomb. I shield up. The opponent is going to go for a close combat. Correct shield on my part. And now, with the opponent double debuffed, this Mud Bomb will be overkill, and we take the win. Hopping into the final match, picking up a lead, Scyther into Firo. Not a great lead. I'm going to switch out into the Whisk Cash, and this is actually a Peck Firo. The opponent definitely wants to be running Steel Wing here. Steel Wing is definitely the move of choice, even if it isn't Stab. I go for the Scald. The opponent lets it go through, and can I actually mud shot this thing down? No, it doesn't look like I can. They go for the Drill Run. That's okay. I'm going to over farm in this matchup and go for the double resisted Mud Bomb. Firo is very glassy, so this should be enough to KO. The opponent lets it go through. I take out the Firo. They send in a counter user. I did not see what it was. It is a Primeape. They shield up the Scald, but we do get the attack debuff and we're able to get off the Mud Bomb. Mud Bomb here is going to be shielded up once again. They counter down. Now I can send in the Scyther. Scyther does have to be wary of a potential Ice Punch, so I will be shielding in this matchup. The opponent is going to go for the double resisted close combat. That's totally fine by me. I have two shields, but I don't think they're running Ice Punch. I can no shield. They go for another double resisted close combat. Primeape goes down. There's a Tauros in the back. I have no idea what this is doing on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and boost up my attack here with the Trailblaze, and now I'm going to go for the X Scissor, and this should just straight up KO. X Scissor picks up the knockout, and we take the win. Overall, these two teams were very fun. I ran the Excadrill team initially, but then I realized I was ABA weak to fire and the emergence of Typhlosion had me very worried. So I ended up switching out for the Sableye and I had some much better results. That being said, I still don't recommend the team whatsoever, and I would definitely also recommend Quagsire over Whiskash, especially considering Scald got the nerf. I also wanted to talk about some non-Pokemon Go updates. Now, this summer, I am actually working as a full-time intern with a prominent insurance company here in the United States. I'm super excited, but what that unfortunately means for the channel is I am starting to dial back the content just a little bit. I'm not giving up on the channel, I never will. However, I don't necessarily think that right now I'm going to be able to put out shorts on a daily rate. I might do once every two days or three days, depending on my busyness. I work five days a week, 37 and a half hours a day. So with this career change, it's going to mean that I upload content a little bit less frequently. However, I will still be around, so don't worry. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.